So a lot of people ask, Greg, why do you do what you do? And I start by telling them about my background. I say, I came from a small town, blue collar background. My father was a carpenter, an electrician, and always building houses. And I was trying to build houses with them. And trust me, I was awful. I was the kid falling off the ladder, dropping tools onto my father. He didn't like that too much. But trust me, you don't want me working on your job site. I'm, I'm that guy. I went off to university, got a degree in psychology. Went on later to get a master's degree in workplace learning. But I always understand, you know, where people are at in that blue collar industrial setting. And I was always really curious about what motivated people and what drove them to certain actions. And after working for a number of years in human resource consulting, we were actually working with one organization. This is a, a global mining company. And they were reopening a mine site in northern Minnesota. And they said, we love what you're doing with the corporate, more administrative, white collar positions, but can you do anything with these frontline blue collar guys? Because every time I hear the phone ring and I hear there's been an accident, in my mind, I'm running through the same 10 or 12 guys that cause these accidents over and over again. And I don't know what it is about these people, Greg. They've all got the same equipment. They've all got the same rules and procedures and training, and still they're causing incidents. Help me figure out who these people are, either at the hiring stage or if they're already on staff. How do I work with these people? And so, you know, the light bulb went off for us. So we started looking into this, and the research we do shows that there's a strong correlation between human error and personality traits such as distractibility, impulsiveness, rule resistance, and so on. And so we were one of the pioneers in this field to really help people understand who they are hiring and also who their existing employees are. But here's the trick. This is not about pointing a finger of blame. This is not about making people feel bad for being born with certain personality default settings, we call them. Instead, it's about accepting someone for being distractible, impulsive, rule resistant, and so on. And the behavior modification comes through giving them that self-awareness so they can modify their own behaviors and also giving tools and knowledge to their supervisors so they can help those people. And that's how we work with these people to save lives.